I read that article in the Philly, philly.com, about N.A. Paul, the uh, U.S. attorney called N.A. Paul criminal, and wrote it up like, you know, N.A. Paul was some danger to, to society or some bullshit. And uh, my first immediate response is, they, as Frank said, these people are fucking idiots, number one. Like, they don't get, aren't they reading the comments? Don't they see that philly.com, every single post is in support of N.A. Poe? Nobody virtually is supporting the U.S. attorneys on this. It's a joke. How much money are you guys spending? You're spending so much money busting peaceful, nonviolent resistance to a bad law. How much money are you spending? Why aren't you going after the bankers? Why aren't you going after the people who bankrupted our country? What a waste of time. Your actions are criminal in my opinion. Oh, N.A. Poe, someone who does a radio show much like I do, right, is an activist much like I am and is just out in the park trying to express his First Amendment rights, you know, and, and you know, say that, hey, I am a free man, I'm a free person, and, you know, I'm not hurting anyone, I'm not harming anyone right now, and then the Parks Police singles him out from a whole crowd of people, walk past people that were smoking, walk past people that were smoking, but he's the criminal because he was the organizer, and so that's what you have here. You have the district attorney going after the individual that was the organizer, not really caring about the actual crime itself, but just going after the person that actually brought the other people there because they always want the ringleader, right? So they might go after the little guy, but they're gonna get the ringleader eventually. That's what they're that's what they're trained to do, that's what their mindset is, you know? And then you have a situation where this dude sits in jail, right? Federal prison, for how long? How many days was he in there? Five days? Five days. He's in the he's in federal prison five days, right? You're a criminal. What you're doing to him is criminal. And they pulled didn't break any law. I don't care if you have some law in the books. He didn't break any law. There's human law. There's human rights. We're fighting for human rights. You're on the other side. Here you have a dude, right? Sits in federal prison for five days, okay? And Adam Kokesh also was singled up by the Parks Police to, you know, be summarily arrested on some bullshit, right? And so Adam Kokesh goes in there, says nothing, refuses to sign anything, okay? Spends an extra, I think, day or two in jail, but ends up getting let out scot-free. They got nothing on him, right? And so... That seems kind of fishy at first, right? But the fact is, is that the, the write-ups were written differently, right? So a different individual wrote the charges against N.A. Poe, and a different individual wrote the charges against Adam Kokesh. And so somehow, N.A. Poe's were worded in a way that some they can actually get him for assault on, a, on, a, on an officer or some kind of bullshit like that. When you can clearly watch the video and see that he's not assaulting anybody, he's just like, why is this, why is, why is this? Dude grabbing me you know that's pretty much all he's doing and like anything that any natural single person would do even attorney goldberg there or uh a district attorney goldberg excuse u.s me, attorney sir. u.s yeah. u.s attorney excuse me excuse me i will call you by your proper fascist title i apologize um but at any rate so any pose a good dude he's somebody who believes in freedom you know and he has to deal with this bullshit because of prohibition and because of the fact that we have a government that doesn't understand logic